I'm Mike from Music Radio Creative. In this video, I'll show you how the brand new content aware fill for video works in Adobe After Effects. So it's a brand new update for April 2019, and this is a really, really good one. Just going to drag in this speech scene to my After Effects project. And you'll see this is just a video of a nice sunset happening on a lovely beach. And then at some stage, as I scrub through this, you're going to find, ah, there's a little silhouette of a person appearing. So an otherwise perfect scene, we just need to get rid of that person. And now before you could kind of like uh, select him and you could blur him out or something like that, uh, but I kind of want to remove him completely. Content aware fill for video is amazing and you're gonna see it in action right now. So first of all, I'm going to select the pen tool up here and I'm just gonna kind of select around my person. So I kind of create a mask around this person that is rudely walking into my perfect beach scene. Okay, so now I've got the person selected. I'll want to pop this little triangle open and look for my masks. And there is the mask I just added. Uh, so for the moment, I'm going to select none so I can still see the whole scene. And rather than content aware fill at the moment over here, I'm going to go into the tracker and I'm just going to track backwards. So let's track backwards now by playing backwards. There we go. And hopefully this should now allow my mask to track that person. Uh, let's activate it there. There we go. It's going back, 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 ever so slowly processing it through. And then I'll track it forwards and I'll speed up this portion so that I get all my keyframes for my mask done in a very, very quick time. Okay, once we've got all those keyframes created using the tracker for our mask we just put in, obviously now we can change the mask from none to subtract. So essentially we're subtracting that person from the video, but it doesn't look good now with a big black hole in the video, does it? So content aware fill, which is over here in After Effects, works pretty much exactly the same as Photoshop's content aware fill uh, for photos, uh, but this time it's using motion and video. Really clever stuff. And all you've got to do to make it work is click this one button here, Generate Fill Layer. It's as easy as that. Again, this will take a little while, so I'll speed up the video uh, so that we can see the full process. And there we go, all done. All things considered, that is a pretty good content aware fill there on my video. So I hope you enjoy experimenting with this and let me know how you get on with content aware fill for video in After Effects on your videos in the comments down below. Oh.